What extraordinary times we live in. I wonder what this year, what this lockdown has looked like for you. As our normal has changed dramatically, many of us, I think, have had to stop doing things that previously felt really important. At this time, perhaps, you, like many others, have found that you have asked questions about what are the things that really matter? What are the things that feel really important? And what are those things that sustains us when times are feeling really uncertain? In this small series of videos, we will look at some of the things that people here in St. Paul's Oatby have thought about during lockdown, where we have found meaning, hope, and we have found something that sustains us throughout it all. Perhaps by spending more time and being present in your local community during lockdown, you have noticed things that don't seem quite right. People who are struggling financially, people who are lonely, or perhaps world events has inspired you to think about how people of different races and backgrounds are treated. My faith is something that has inspired me to think about issues of justice, but I'm far from alone in this. Jesus helps us to look beyond ourselves and our own little bubbles and our own immediate people that we care for, to actually care for all kinds of people. So I'm involved in this project, which is uh, taking people, uh, particularly women, out of the slavery and teaching them and giving them skills, uh, which uh, not just uh, for themselves, but to earn the money for their family. So they're learning, they're serving, and they are able to read the Bible. And by the end of the course, they're always able to read Bible so they can pass it on to their families. Uh, and instead of working as a slave, they have their own business um, where they can uh, look after their families. What good is it if we gain the whole world, we use all of its resources, but people are still living in poverty, that people are still living in places where they don't have good access to healthcare, where people are still living in fear or living feeling forgotten or unloved. We are very privileged in this country that we have everything we needed. Um, we are grateful for NHS when during this pandemic, um, it's been great help. We don't have to think about the money. We don't have to think about the treatment. Another issue of justice that I've been concerned about through this time has been thinking about people's mental health and well-being. We went into lockdown very quickly to protect people's physical health, but actually the lack of social contact, those who are on their own who've not been able to meet up with others, those who can't cope with modern technology, those who've struggled because they've been isolated, but had a real heart and concern for them. We haven't thought well about people's mental health and well-being during this difficult time. And actually, the Bible reminds us of that importance of loving and caring for one another, supporting one another, encouraging one another. We need to see other people through God's eyes, through a God lens of love and care, and that everybody is fearfully and wonderfully made. If I go back to my faith, that's where, uh, where we end up uh, saying, praying for the people. Um, and it's my faith which lifts me up all the time to pray for them and to reach to them. And so I want to say as a church, can we be there for one another and love one another well and look out for those who are the last, the least, the lost, the most vulnerable and marginalized in society and make sure that they are not overlooked or forgotten, but they know that they are loved and valued by us and by God. I'm convinced that by working together and by being a voice for those on the margins, we can make a difference. In the new year, we're going to run an Alpha course here at St Paul's in Oadby. And it's an opportunity to find out more about the Christian faith and to ask questions about how this makes a difference to how we view the world around us. It'd be great if you can join us and details of how to do so can be found in the description. Go well today and may God bless us all.